Hey there everyone, in the previous video we saw how to use use state, use effect and use contact hooks in react. Today we will continue with the next set of hooks used in react. We will learn about the use ref hook, use callback hook and the use memo hook as well as how to use them effectively. So let's get into it. Let's start with what is a use ref hook. Use ref is used to persist values between renders without causing re-renders, making it perfect for tasks that involves DOM manipulation, storing mutable values, or if you want to track previous values. Basically, use ref can be used to store a mutable values that does not cause a re-render when updated. Use ref returns an object called ref object. This object has a single property called current. Initially, this current is set to the value that you have passed as an argument to the use ref. This current property can be changed to hold different values and will continue between renders of your component. Changing a ref will not trigger a re-render as it does in the state variable. Alright, so let's jump into the Visual Studio code. First, we start by importing react and the use ref hook from the react library. Then we will create and export a functional component called my component in this case. Inside this component, we have declared a variable here called my ref using the use ref hook and we have initialized it with the value zero. Next, we will create a function called handle click. This function will trigger when the button is clicked. Inside this handle click function, we will be accessing the current value of our variable myRef, which we have defined above. myRef is essentially a reference to the DOM input element that we will create further on. Inside the written statement, we are rendering a heading which is use ref example. And we will also create an input field inside the written statement and it will have a ref attribute to set to our my ref variable allowing us to directly reference this input field in our JavaScript code and we also have a button here which when clicked will give us an alert pop-up displaying the input value which is currently stored in my ref variable so let's save this file when we type here something such as hello world and then you click on show input then we will have here an alert pop-up which will say the input value is hello world okay and when you just change it let's say like this and click on input and there we will have the input value which is currently set to hello world x2 okay so when the button is clicking an alert is popping up displaying the current value which is currently stored here in my ref variable so basically use ref value is used when you want to access and manipulate dom elements without causing unnecessary re-renders in your react component so that's use ref example okay now let's jump into another hook which is use memo the use memo hook is used to return a memoized value it is used for memoization Memoization means caching a value so that it does not need to be recalculated. It's done to improve the performance by memoizing the result of a function call and returning the cached result when the inputs, that is, dependencies, have not changed. Use memo hook takes two arguments, a function and an array of dependencies. Here in this example, we have expensive calculation, which is a function whose result will be memoized. It's the function that will be re-executed if one of its dependencies change. But in this case, we just have only one dependency that is count. And if it changes, then this function will be re-executed. But there can be many dependencies such as like count1, count2 or count3. But in this case, we just have only one dependency that is count. But if you have many dependencies and if one of that dependency changes, then the function will be re-executed. And if the values in the dependency array remain the same, the memoized value will return without re-executing the function. Now let's understand it with an example. 
Okay, so in this example, we have a counter and a to-do list as you will see here. I'm using this example just to show you the difference between what happens when we are not using the use memo hook and what happens when we use the use memo hook. So here we are just first importing use state hook from React at the top of the component and we are also importing a CSS file for styling purpose. Then we have a functional component named app. Inside this app component, we have two states variables count and to do's the count state is initialized to the value 0 and the to do's is an empty array the use state hook is managing these states here we also have a new variable that is named calculation it will calculate the value by invoking this expensive calculation function which is defined below with the current value of the count variable passed as an argument then we have two function increment and add to do Increment will help us update the count state by incrementing its value by 1. An add to do function on the other hand will add a new item new to do to the to do's array using this spread operator. Then in the return statement we display a list of to do's that will come from the to do state. It maps through the to do's array and display each item using a paragraph element. The key attribute is used for react to efficiently update its UI. It will ensure that react can identify which items have changed or they have been added or they have been removed. And when we click on this add to do button it will trigger the add to do function which we created above and it will add a new item to the to do array and in the next div we have this count which will display the value of count state variable we are using the curly braces here to insert the javascript variable or expression into jsx and when this plus button will be clicked it will trigger that increment function and it will update the count state variable by incrementing its counter value by one and the calculation here in this curly braces will display the result of calculation variable here. This is going to be calculated by the expensive calculation function with the current count value. And then down here we have created this expensive calculation function. That is an arrow function, okay? And it takes num as an parameter. The for loop here is going to run a billion time. Inside this loop, we have a num parameter which is going to be incremented by 1 during each iteration. This loop is basically an expensive part of the function. We are just using it here to increase the processing time and power. This function is just serving as a demonstration of what happens when we have an intensive task in our application. So save this file and when here you click on add to do's, you will see that it's taking time to bring out here here this new to do list and when you click on again add to do then again it is taking the time okay and when we click on this plus button here to increase the count the for loop is running billion times and after it has done running it will give us this updated value here so basically what is happening this function will return the final value when that for loop completes causing us delay in the new addition of to do and even increasing the counter it takes a lot of time but you will notice here that this expensive calculation is just for counter component right then why does it is affecting the to do so the problem is when this expensive calculation is called it doesn't just impact this calculation variable it causes our entire component to re-render react component re-render when their states or props changes right and in this case whenever the count state variable changes the count is triggering a re-render of the component and during this re-render the to-do list is also being processed and if the component is unresponsive due to the intensive calculation which is happening here the rendering of to-dos is getting delayed now to fix this kinds of issue we are just going to use the use memo hook okay so you have to import it at the top of the component with the use state hook and here we are also going to import react don't forget it just like how i did now okay and then wrap this expensive calculation in the use memo arrow function okay and call it with the current value of count variable and it is taking the dependency of count so whenever this dependency count will change 
only that time this expensive calculation would be called. So save this file and after it is done, refresh this one time and now when you click on this add to do button, you will see that it added the new to do very fast. It did not get delayed how it did earlier. And when we click on this button, it is going to take time because we just have artificially delayed these calculation. But now it is not affecting these to do's. Let's again click on add to do and you will see that it's adding really very fast. So that's how we use the use memo hook to prevent from re-rendering every time. Now let's try and understand the use callback hook. The use callback hook in React returns a memoized callback function. The use callback hook will only run when one of its dependency changes. Use callback and use memo are similar. The only difference is that use memo will return a memoized value and use callback is going to return a memoized function. Okay, so this is the difference between the use memo and use callback hook. But both these hooks are used when we want to prevent a component to re-render unnecessarily. So let's try and understand the use callback hook with an example. So here first we are going to understand what happens when we are not using the use callback hook and then we will see how we can use the use callback hook to prevent the re-rendering of these buttons, okay? So what you have to do is in the source directory you have to create this components folder and in that create the 3.js file button.js, count.js and parent component.js. We will go through these files one by one, okay? So you don't need to worry. Let's start with this parent component file. Here what we are doing is we are just calling the react and use state. We are just importing it and we are also importing two custom components button and count, okay? And down here inside this parent component, we have two states that is increase count and decrease counts. And then we have a function increment count which when triggered will update the increase count state by adding one in it. Similar, the decrement count function will decrease the decrease count state by one. And then in the written statement, we have two instances of this count component. The count component takes two properties, that is text, which defines the description, this one, current count is zero. And here for decrease count, we also have this description, current count is zero. Basically, we have just added is two types. So let's remove this. We have also in count component and let's save this file. And then we have this button component. This will help in increasing and decreasing the count with the help of increase count and decrease count function. And now let's see what we have in this count.js file. Here we are just importing react from react. Then we have a function component count which is taking props as its parameter. And this is just going to console log count rendering. And then inside the written statement, we have a div. Here we are just returning whatever value is passed to the text prop in the parent component, which we just saw. And then in button.js file, which is yet another part of our component, we have this functional component called button, which is also taking props as its parameter. And then we are just consoling log button and in the return statement inside this div we have a button with an on click attribute which is set to the function handled via handle click prop. The content inside this button props.children is dynamic and will represent whatever content is being placed between the tags of the button component. And then finally in this app.js file we are bringing up this parent component. And at the top, we are also importing it. Here, I'm just going to open up the console so we can see what is happening. So basically, this is showing that both the buttons and count have been rendered initially as they should. So now, when we click on increase the count button, you will find not only this click re-rendered the increase button and the count, but it also rendered the decrease button and its count. We don't want this to happen. So that is when we use callback hook. Let's take another example and let's refresh this. It has re-rendered initially. Then when we click on decrease the count, increase the count button has also been re-rendered with its count. So we just don't want this to happen. Head back to the code and in the parent component, what we will do here is we will just call the use callback hook here at the top of the component. 
and also wrap the button and count component with react.memo. React.memo does not have to do anything with the callback. We are just using it here to prevent the functional components from being re-rendered if their props or states have not been changed. Similarly, with this button component, wrap it inside this react.memo. And after calling this use callback hook at the top of the parent component, what you have to do is you have to update this increment and decrement count to a use callback arrow function, which will prevent the unnecessary recreation. Here, this dependency, which is increase count and decrease count, is just used to specify when this memoized function should be recreated. Go back to the local host and let's click refresh over here. And then initially it has re-rendered every component it should and now when we click on increase the count button and you will see that it is only re-rendering the count and button for the increase count and then for decrease when you click on again it has rendered the count and button for decrease the count this one particularly this component okay so when we click on decrease the count, it is not recreating increment count function. It is just recreating the decrement count function. Same with this increment count function. It is not recreating decrement count. That's how you use use callback hook. So use callback hook is used when you want to memoize the function and use memo is used when you want to memoize the value. And with this, our video wraps here. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any doubts, do not hesitate to reach me out. I have also provided my Discord server link in the about section of this channel. You can go ahead and join the Discord server. Okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.